Okay, so we're going to make some hot dogs with the rocket stove. So, let's start out with a map of, uh, dump that in there. Some of the spreadsheet from the estimate I was working on today. We must recycle. I'm going to take some sticks here. I've got a little bit of apple wood involved. Put that in there. Stuff it down. Stick it in the chimney. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is apple. Apple. Stick some in here. Down underneath. Yeah, there we go. A little more apple. I'm going to have apple, wood, cooked hot dogs. Hebrew National, quarter pounders. It may not be the most gourmet, but it's what we're going to do. Okay, now if I'm really lucky, we'll get this thing to light. Lately the matches have been a little bit too wet out here on the south shore. Don't get much going with a match when it's wet. Won't even strike. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, we're cooking. Something's happening. Burn, baby. Yep. Gotta get that heat going so we got some draft in here. We're going to have our hot dogs with sauerkraut, smoked, you can hear the boat in the distance on the south shore, Let's build up the atmosphere here, yeah, come on baby, cook, 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 flame, I haven't quite got it figured out yet. Well, there we go. Oh, come on. How many times have you done this? Oh, it's getting hot already. Well, this is crab apple. Okay, here we go. This is why it, it is so cool. So cool. Yes, there we have fire. Stick something big in there. Move over, buddy. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Eat up our sauerkraut. Put on our gloves so we don't burn ourselves on the sauerkraut pot. Yeah, look at that. That's why it's called a rocket stove. Well, you saw how much I put in there, right? What I mean, not a whole lot. The stuff I gathered up out of the yard. Have your hot dogs just fine with cold sauerkraut. I think it's kind of neat to have it with hot sauerkraut though. Keep those sticks poked in there. Okay. I think it's time to introduce the meat. There we 
go. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that organic waste dumped into the earth. Despite the fact that we're in the wetlands, we give it some uh, hot dog water. Yeah. Whoa! Too quick for me. Now, some of the people buy by the slit hot dog uh, theory, so I'll slit one just to demonstrate that experimentally insofar as how a slit hot dog works. Yeah. I'll, do, I'll do two just for good measure. Slice up those hot dogs. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe a good good reason for it. I don't know. Uh, remember, we're using apple wood here. Stuck in a couple more pieces of apple wood. get a caramel out of fermented cabbage, but saw that, right? Well, dig it. Dig it completely. They're getting charred on the outside just fine. I don't know about you, but I like my hot dog a little bit black. Not totally, but oh, certainly. Christ Almighty, we're almost done. I never get to use this big stick. I have to apologize to the tree. We could sit here looking at them, but I think one of the great things about the rocket stove is that there's a whole lot of heat in a hurry with a little bit of uh, fuel. And uh, now we get to eat, so we're going to go do that. Bye.